Hello everyone. Welcome to EA Secret. The story of a queen whose name is considered the equal of beauty even thousands of years after her death. Nefertiti M. Dahi, 1370 to 1330, was an Egyptian queen who lived and was the wife of Pharaoh Akhenaten. All the books on the history of ancient Egypt tell about its epic beauty in languages. The name, Beauty is Coming, the Beautiful One, or, Coming from the Beautiful, means. In some sources, it is stated that Nefertiti's real name is Tadukapa, and she was called Nefertiti because of her famous beauty. It is not known exactly where Queen Nefertiti came from and her origin, and there are various assumptions about this. Nefertiti, M. He. She may have been the daughter of the chief advisor I, who would go on to become pharaoh after the death of King Tut in 1323. An alternative theory suggests that she was a princess from the Mitanni kingdom in northern Syria. Some historians claim that Nefertiti was the first cousin of the Egyptian pharaoh. The most accurate information known about her is that she was the wife of pharaoh Akhenaten. Married at a young age, this couple does not think small at all, and perhaps they are laying the foundations of a monotheistic religion symbolized by the sun and in which all people have equal rights to life, laying the foundation for future religions as well. Akhenaten's reign was a period of tremendous cultural upheaval. In fact, this period was a very interesting time for both Egypt and the other ancient world. Akhenaten was reorganizing the religious and political structure of Egypt around the worship of the sun god Aden. This was literally the cultural revolution. Therefore, at the time when Nefertiti was queen, Egypt was in a rather mixed structure. Akhenaten's revolutionary political move allowed Nefertiti to take an important place in the government of the country. Because in order to strengthen the innovations that the pharaoh made in the social sphere, members of the royal family were given more powers. During this period, there are paintings of Nefertiti depicted fighting the enemies of Egypt. This is something that is not seen in any Egyptian queen. For this reason, it is very often debated whether she is the queen or the pharaoh. Some Egyptologists suggest that she was Akhenaten's queen, while others suggest that Nefertiti was a woman pharaoh who was greatly revered. Nefertiti was depicted with a frequency not seen in any other Egyptian queen during the reign of Akhenaten. He is seen as a powerful and domineering figure on the tomb and temple walls from this period. The couple had six daughters, Meritaten, Mekataten, Ankesenpaten, Neferneferuaden Tasherit, Neferneferur and Setepaner. There is no information in any document that he is the son of Nefertiti and Akhenaten. So who was Tutankhamun's mother then? It is clearly known that Tutankhamun's father was Akhenaten. However, Akhenaten has two wives. One is Nefertiti and the other is Kia. In almost all depictions of Nefertiti, it is drawn that she has six daughters. In none of them is she depicted with a boy. Therefore, Historians note that Tutankhamun's mother was Kia. Although Akhenaten had two wives, Nefertiti was the eldest queen. Akhenaten had combined his own seal with Nefertiti's seal. This is one of the clearest indicators of decency between the two. The depictions that have survived to the present day show that Nefertiti received religious duties, received foreign dignitaries and managed diplomatic meetings. It is even claimed that after Akhenaten's death, he ruled the country first alone, then together with Tutankhamun. But the theory that Nefertiti and Tutankhamun ruled together is not universally accepted. Egyptologists are again divided on this issue. Some suggest that Nefertiti was the sole pharaoh before Tutankhamun became the head of the country's government. But still it is worth bearing in mind that what is known about the history of Egypt is crazy guesses based on little information. It is not the great political power she has that made Nefertiti so famous. Even today, he is known, remembered, the detail that makes him, it is his beauty. Her hair was black, her eyes were dark, she was small and had a bronze complexion. The cheekbones were prominent enough to be taken in the palm. She was so beautiful that even queens could not take their eyes off her, 
she had received a good education, had developed herself extremely. She was a woman for whom ministers felt both fear and envy. He was a person who captivated people, and who could easily overcome those whom he could not captivate with his intelligence. His goal was to become a leader of people, become immortal and go down in history. He was after eternity. He had a perfect smile. She knew how to use her femininity and therefore spoke hoarsely to men. So the men were bending down so that they could hear him. She uses her smile sparingly, and as soon as she smiled, men felt as if they were bathed in her light. His outlook on life was political. She wanted to marry a god and become a goddess. In fact, he wanted even more. He was also brave enough to risk death, beyond saying, will the gods punish me for catching up with them? He was cunning and had an uncontrollable strength. He had a wild self-confidence. On December 6, 1913, a team led by German archaeologist Ludwin Borchardt discovered a statue buried upside down during excavations in the capital Amarna. This statue, painted and in extremely good condition, depicted a woman with a thin neck and graceful facial features. This statue had a blue cylindrical hood, which is seen in other depictions of Nefertiti. Borchardt's team made an agreement with the Egyptian government to share the artifacts found at the archaeological excavation site after the statue was found. Therefore, the bust was sent to Berlin as Germany's share. The archaeologist is so impressed by the beauty of the bust of Nefertiti that in his notes, he also expresses how he was impressed by its beauty, it cannot be described by writing, it is necessary to see it with the discovery of the tomb of the Egyptian pharaoh Tathankamun in 1922, interest in the bust of Nefertiti increased even more. The bust is on display at the Nuys Museum in Berlin. Nefertiti, Akhenaten's 12. Around the year of his reign, he suddenly disappears from the historical records. Four different theories have been put forward to explain Nefertiti's sudden disappearance. 1. Since she could not give birth to a male heir, she may have fallen out of her husband's sight and been replaced by Kia. 2. He may have been exiled by Akhenaten for abandoning the Aden religion. 3. He may have committed suicide in grief at the loss of his daughter. 4. He may have continued to reign under the name Smenker until his stepson Tutankhamun was old enough to take the throne. None of these theories can be proven except the fourth. Most historians claim that even the fourth theory is ambiguous. For example, some historians note that Smenker, the official co-regent of her husband, may have been Nefertiti. It is known that there were two separate pharaohs in ancient Egypt who ruled under the names of Neferneferiatan and Smenker in the short period between the reign of Akhenaten and Tutankhamun. December. Historians believe that both these names are Nefertiti. Of course, these do not go beyond the forecast. Although Nefertiti did not reign as a pharaoh, it is certain that she was one of the most famous queens of ancient Egypt. The exit of Nefertiti, who was not understood how she entered the history of ancient Egypt at first, was equally mysterious. After the twelve-year reign of King Akhenaten, Nefertiti did not appear in any written documents, inscriptions, records, inscriptions, etc., is not featured. Nefertiti's disappearance and the whereabouts of her tomb are still a mystery today. What do you think about Nefertiti? who has kept her name alive with her beauty even thousands of years after her death. If you liked the video, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel.